Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs and Helpers. Got my two helpers with me today, going to watch me work. Okay, today we're going to be taking out the bottom um, countertop and the cabinets from the, from the wall itself. First thing we're going to do though is we're going to remove the countertop from the cabinets before we take the cabinets apart. Now on the, on the countertop itself, up underneath the bottom, there's going to be screws that actually secure the cabinet to the countertop. So let me show you underneath the bottom where they are and we'll start taking them out. Now you can use either a drill or a cordless screwdriver or if you don't have either, you can use just a regular screwdriver as well to remove it. So we're going to take all of the screws out and then we're going to lift this cabinet, the, the countertop up and off and get rid of it and then we'll pull these bottoms out. So let me show you where the screws are located here. And we'll get started. Okay, now as you know, we did take the doors off previously. You just take the screws out, we remove the doors and get them out of the way so that we have a, uh, a little more room to work and it makes the cabinets a little bit lighter. Um, the screws themselves are actually right up in the bottom right here. There's, it's, it's in every one of the cabinets in the corner. So you see it here and in the back over here and so on down the line. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to take out the screws now. side and take those screws out now. Okay, we're going to continue down the line. We're going to take out the rest of these screws here, and once we have these screws out, then we'll pull the cabinet the top up. So let's take the rest of them out now. Actually, somebody didn't put screws in here, so we're just going to move right to the end over here. It looks like they only have it held on by both end cabinets. So let's take out the other side now. Okay, and now our cabin, our countertop is off, but unfortunately I'm not Hercules, I can't lift this by myself, so I'm going to have to have my camera girl give me a hand and get this off. So let's get this off, and then we'll come right back. Okay, now that we have the countertop off, we're going to unscrew the cabinets, and we're going to take them out one by one as well. Uh, I always like to start wherever there's a corner that's free, because if we try to take it out over here, it's going to be a real tight fit in that corner, and I don't want to do any damage to the wall. 
or anything like that. So first thing we're going to do now is we're going to come in here and we're going to take out these screws right here. You can see a screw right here. Anything that holds the cabinet to the wall we're going to take out. And then we have screws that actually go in here through the side right here and they're screwed into this part of the cabinet to hold it together. So there's three of these. We're going to take those three screws out and we'll take that back with cabinet should be loose so let me just take out a couple other screws here and then we'll work on this one here to get it out take these screws out here. Always make sure there's no screws on this side that actually pull it together as well. As I can see here, there is not. So, okay, now that we have the screws out of here, now you did notice I left this screw, I left the screw in the back over here because I don't want this cabinet to move and do any damage to the wall itself. So let's take these cabinets out first and then we'll work our way down this way. Now we have all the screws out. As you can see, we took it out here. It doesn't appear to be any other screws in here. But you want to take it easy, you don't want to do any damage, just in case. As you can see, this was painted closed, so that's why that was a little bit tight. So we're going to take this one out. Okay, so now we have this one out, we had to stop for a second because I needed my assistant to help me lift it out. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take this one out. And it's going to be the same thing, this is going to have a paint line down in here. So if you want, you can take a utility knife or razor blade and cut it up in here, or you can just pull it and it'll come right out. Now, remember what I told you about that cabinet. We left it secure because we didn't want to do any damage to the wall itself. So let's take this one and just move this out. the second cabinet out. You saw it was a little bit tight on the bottom because what happened is the tile was actually up onto the bottom toe kick so we needed to break the tile loose from the uh, tile that was on the floor. That's this piece down inside here. That's why it was a little tight. All right next thing we're going to do now is we're going to pull this one out and uh, then we'll have our bank of cabinets out here and then we'll continue in the corner taking the others out. you want to be careful because you don't want to do any damage to the wall over here. So we're going to just pull it a little bit and we're going to pop it out. And we're going to stop because I just noticed here, you see the screw in the side over here? It's actually screwed into a beam right over here. Alright, so we're going to take that screw out as well. Should do it. Okay, let's see. And the same thing, we needed to get this tile off on the bottom. But now all three cabinets are out. We're going to take the cabinets out of here 
we'll clean up this area here and then we'll continue taking out the other cabinet on this side over here. So uh, stick around, we'll come right back. Okay, now that we have that bank of cabinets out and removed, it's out of the house. Thank you, assistant, for helping me get them out. Uh, we are now going to take out this corner cabinet right here, and the same thing, we're going to take out the four screws up in the corners that actually hold it in place. So let me take these screws out, and we'll pop that countertop off. Okay, now that we have the four screws out, we're just going to give this a little bit of a hit, just like that to break it loose, and then we'll get this out. Take this out. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do now is we're going to take out that last screw in the back here. Now remember on the other side, there was a screw that was in the side here, but it doesn't appear to be anything in here. So let's take this out. And now the cabinet should come out. And now the cabinet should come out. <laughs> okay. I'm looking. I don't see any other screws in here. Okay, so it's got to be just the paint on the side right here. So we're going to get a utility knife. We're going to strike it a little bit. And then we'll get it out. Okay, now this was pretty tight. I thought it was going to be just because of the paint on the side right here. But when I look in the back over here, I see there's another screw right at the very edge. So we're going to take that screw out as well. The tiles came off. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So now we're just going to wait for the uh, for the for the rest of the uh, the cabinets to get here, and we'll start putting it back together. In the meantime, we're going to do some cleanup work in here, get all the uh, the debris out, and then we'll come back and we'll put it back together. All right. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.